Hello there guys, my name is Jay or DA and welcome back to another episode of the Space Engineer Spotlights where today we are looking at the Stingray Submarine by First Chapter. Now, this thing it looks pretty insane. Just to alert you all, it is highly modded. So yeah, if you're wondering how the hell is that capable in Space Engineers, it is due to mods. And uh, I love what he's done with the bodywork on this. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's, it encapsulates that awesome sort of submarine look it's like low profile it's got the, the the fins on it and it's got the little flicky uppy bits it's got the uh, the sort of the cockpit of the top and it just looks the part like you could imagine this underwater but instead the the like the the blankness of space is its water there you go let's, let's make it all poetic and stuff so uh yeah it's an absolutely incredible looking craft absolutely beautiful looking thing and it does have some uh, rocket sort of tubes here which is great so we can actually fire and cause some havoc and uh, we've got a, a, a sort of an almighty sort of selection of things going on around here as well so we have a bunch of lights and um, we've got um like a telescope here as well and a camera sort of merged into one um so we can actually uh, v sort of look out and whatnot and see in the distance um so again a bit like a periscope except it doesn't swivel um we do have a stand here which we by the looks of it can access that through am i right um yeah so we can go into here and i believe uh just do can, can i activate it what's on this uh, no, so I believe you could make this sort of custom to to view. So um, where is it? Let's, let's search for telescope. Uh, there it is. So if we put that on there, can we? No, so we can only toggle it on and off. We can't view, which is a bit sad. But either way, we've got that. We've got a nice looking sort of hatch door here, and that is our only entrance in and out besides the um, sort of the little pod door here as well which is um accessible via a button i think and we can get in there but that's more for releasing like tiny little um sort of uh how would you say just like little floaty roundy sort of mini crafts of sorts so i think what we'll do is we'll actually go into the hatch which uh, is just here um i don't actually have my crosshair on because i turned it off for whatever reason and uh let's let's, let's press the button and let's see what this does. So there should be some bits and bobs in here working away. Um, that is um, elevator, small door, open, close. So there we go. So, whoa, okay. So we've sort of let all the air out of there. I think they should have pressurized, but it didn't, or I, I did it wrong. I'm not sure. But either way, we're in. We are in. And it's a very weird, like, caged looking thing. This is cool. Oh wow, look at the... Okay, the elevator doors are actually really, really cool. I don't know what... Is this actually an elevator? Or is this just a room? What is this room for? I don't know what this room's for. Um, there's like a like a floor. I'm not sure what this is for. I'm so confused. Right, so that's a room in itself. Again, not sure what for, but um, I'm sure we might find out soon. Um, here we go, just depressurizing everything again. Um, so we have some cool little seats here, which are high up. We've got some things tucked underneath which look like uh, sort of oxygen tanks and things and air vents which are working properly. We've got some panels along the sides and this is very res like sort of resembles a uh, an actual submarine. So you've got like this this open deck at the top with these cool little supporting beams in. I love the detail in here. It's really really nice. Really plain paint work and there's not too much going on but it looks very Again, looks very submarine-like, which is just really, really nice and detailed and cool. And I love detailing ships. Detailing ships is, is key. And that's why I love mods, because they can just add that detail. Like, look at these little tanks you've got down there. It's so cool. There's always bits of computers and bits and bobs here. And this is obviously the pilot seat. And um, when you do spawn into the world, if you do download the world, I'll leave the world and the blueprint sort of uh, links in the description below. But uh, if you do download the world, you'll spawn seated in here, seated in here, so um, you'll be able to sort of whiz around in it from the off. Um, I haven't done that. I jumped out and ended up outside. Um, but I love his use of um, of um, missile launchers, um, rocket launcher things, just to you know, just to sit there um, and be ground down and look like supports. So that's really cool. And I've also got a seat back here as well for whoever to sort of 
and the captain to sort of chill out back here while the pilot drives them around. So, uh, yeah, it's really, really cool upstairs. Uh, again, I'm not sure what that room's for. Really not. Maybe it's a wet room. I don't know. Um, I say wet room, but it's we're, we're in space, so it, it doesn't get wet. But either way, let's head down this lovely fashion staircase, and we do have another door here, which obviously would be... Um, so you can sort of separate up the rooms because obviously with a submarine and with spaceships it's critical to have these divides if you don't have the divides if you lose oxygen in one room you lose it in the rest of those areas that aren't locked up so uh, yeah immediately coming down here we have so many so many things going on we have so many different ways we can go um, oh my god there is so much to this ship Jesus so we'll go to the front of the ship first then we'll work our way back I think I think that's probably wise so with the micro blocks, we actually have a little um, sort of uh, sort of um, wizard craft. I'm going to call it the wizard. Um, it has some really nifty little features on. Uh, it's using the micro blocks mod, which does look pretty damn cool. Actually, it looks pretty swish. But uh, I like I like this because it means we can sort of open this door up and, and wizard out and, and fly around, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to push forwards and have a gander in here. Oh god. Um, we actually have some other blocks at the front which are just ground down. Um, are they ground down or are they painted? They're yeah, just painted. Um, so it's just another random room for maybe sort of repairing those blocks at the front and whatnot. And um, again, we've got these supports that are just missile pods sort of knocking around. Um, we have the shutters. Oh, there's a lift as well. So we have the cargo bike access. We have the cargo lift shutters open and closed. I want to open these just to see. Oh wow, um, and it says we have a lift, so um, cargo lift, cargo lift shutter, so, oh wow, look at this, so we actually have a physical cargo area, oh I didn't mean to shut that, that is so cool, so this would, you'd put your things on or you'd stand on this and it would push them up, it does kind of clip through the shutter but you can actually physically stand in it and lower yourself down on it how cool is that that is such a nifty little block is it a block or is it a is it a is it a thing is it a thing i want to see oh no it's just a yeah it is a thing it's an actual thing it's like a piston cool um so we want to open and close we want cargo lift so we just want to go back up again and so i'm going to bring that back up and uh, we'll shut up that door but that's really really nice and, and cool to know because that's how you'd obviously bring your things in and out so we'll lower that back down. Um, we have two buttons for the shutter, which is strange, weird. Um, we do have this one up above, which I'm not sure where the control is for it. Cargo bike access. Oh wow! Holy poop balls! Look at this. So we actually have like a ramp that opens up, and it's like a bonnet. How how sick is that? Oh man, this this craft is just like a little box of joy. That's so amazing. So we've actually got these ramp blocks that appear, and then we've got the this that opens, and it gives you the perfect sort of 45 degree fly off with your little speeder scooty bike thing. That is really cool. Those are really loud though. But no, I love these blocks. They're so condensed and just appear. That's really, really nice. So we've got that, which is just fantastic. And then we head back through here. Um, so what do we have pushing through here? So on the sides we have oh torpedoes, torpedoes. Yes, we have like a little torpedo rack that he's made up. Oh my god, look at this! So this is like again, if you look at films or whatever, where you see the torpedo tubes, he's got two torpedoes locked in place here, and they can be loaded on, rolled onto here, pushed into the chute, and fired off. Obviously they won't be fired off because we have rocket pods for that. But that is so cool. That's such a cool detail to have inside this ship. Just just because I'm a nerd and I love it. And I'm guessing this is the second one. Which again is exactly the same as the last. We are getting decompression. That's not because of holes in the ship. That is purely because um, small ship grids are a bit weird when it comes to pressure. But uh, let's open up this door. Let everything pressurise again. And what do we have? We have a toilet. Yes! I love me a good toilet, and this is a very nicely done toilet. So we have a, a very well placed shower here, a little shower head, and some some articles of, of cleaning. Got a loofah a loofa there, that's great, so I can sort of scrub myself up. And I got plungers. 
We've got a whole toilet system here with a sink. I can't get to the sink without crouching. Um, and then uncrouching again, but that's just the way the blocks um, see me. That's that's just the blocks being a bit strange. But that is really cool. I love these these add additional things just going on. They're so so nice. To, to, that's a toilet. So what's in the other side? I want to just sort of do a, a missy match on what's on, on either side. So this is again just another random room, whether it's probably cargo or something like that. So you can kind of make it what you want. I do believe he says something like that in the um, in the description where you can make the rooms what you want them to be. Which, I'll be honest, I'd kind of like it if they were they were done out in some fashion, but that's just me. So, oh my god, there's another floor! God. Okay, so through here, we have a bedroom, we have a seat, which we can seat ourselves upon. That is nice. We have some drawers. We have two beds, um, bunk bed style. That is really nice, actually. I like some of these new models that are coming out for living quarters. Oh my god! And these these screens as well. They're huge. This is brilliant. You can actually lie in these. Oh my god! Remember the days where you could lie in stuff and and they didn't break with the updates, and that's just perfect. Just having that there. And you can lie on the top one as well and just chill out and you know and warp out of the ship. Excellent. Let's open up the door, depressurize everything, close the door up again, let's head on down. There we go, and let's just try and avoid everything, depressurize, and let's go back here. So don't jump in that bed if you don't want to go outside. That's a good tip. It's just, a, again, the way Space Engineer sees things, it's just a little bit weird. So, let's open up this door, what else do we have? We have another living quarters here, which houses similar articles besides the... Um, the, the drawers, which I don't think would fit here because of blocks. Um, but we have sort of crew capacity at the moment for four. So we'll have to see. We've got four with one toilet. We have six. Is that, was that the one I just looked at? I'm, I'm getting very confused with what I've just looked at. Uh, that's the toilet. No, so we have, we have room for four so far. Room for four. And we have this room here. What is in here? We have room for six. This house is six people. Six occupants of this can be held. And then we have this beautiful room. And I love this door. It's so nice. I remember using these doors on the Guardian and the Salvador and stuff. They're a really cool ship. So I really need to get drunk again and um, perhaps build some really cool ships. But uh, yeah, don't don't drink in excessively. There we go. That's my warning of the day. But we have lots and lots of jump drives here because obviously this is long distance. And so we want to use these. I think it may be a little bit too too over the top. Maybe four would have been enough. But we have batteries in here as well because obviously this thing needs to recharge itself. It's all about longevity. So we're trying to extend our time in space with this thing and trying to go further and further afield. We've got loads of sort of tanks and things knocking around here as well. And this is like the epicenter of the room. And I think this is actually the, the, the core. I'm not sure. Looks really cool either way. So, uh, yeah, we've got that room, which is just phenomenal. How do I... How, how does one shut the door? There we go. So that door's shut. Now we can head on downstairs, which, again, we do have doors for this. But uh, we're not going to have them open for... We're going to have them open for now. We're not going to shut them. And then uh, we come down here. What is down here? I'm not sure myself. So let's find out. We have a kitchen, which is actually very, very neatly done. I love how much space this thing is like a TARDIS. You jump inside and you just think it can't get any better, and it does. So we have a TV here, which is actually a screen, so you can type things on the screen. That's a cool idea. And then we've got some, again, more seats, uh, sort of coffee tables here. Um, and we've just got a really, really nicely well thought out kitchen here. Very well lit as well, I must say that. Everything's very well lit in here. There's nothing... I can complain in terms of lighting. In here we have two cryo chambers um, for anyone that you're storing, or obviously, you know, if you're if you're uh, if you've got people that are injured, etc., etc., you can put them in there until they until it comes to the time where you can take them out and properly heal them at base. And we have some really nicely done first aid bays, which actually have first aid sort of. M I think it's the the DK first aid things behind them and then we've got the beds here so you've got first aid above and then you've got the tanks and then the bed that looks really nice I love this and then uh, yeah and um, we've got cargo which this is that 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 cargo section that we access by the elevator so this is 
the main storage of stuff and it's it's well thought out because you've got a lift here which can drop things down you've got the access upstairs in the garage and the shutter that opens and closes and separates the two off when it needs to so it's a very very well thought out craft with so much detail i could think of some ideas for the what what could happen in the other rooms one of them could be a secondary um sort of control area and uh, I don't know, just yeah, I just I just feel like the other two rooms could have been done with something, just because you know they're very beautiful looking rooms, and you know there's there's lots of space you could work with. But uh, either way, um, can we can we fly this thing out of here? Um, how do I disconnect it? Power. Okay, so nine is power, so we turn it on. Um, bike doors, landing gear, switch locks. So we need to. Oh, so here we go. So this is me on the little debris. Look at look at it go. Oh, it's such a cool little thing. I got my hands partly on the controllers. My legs are partly inside the ship. That is just a winner. And look, you can float around to your heart's content. It's a very slow moving craft, but it's it's nifty. It's nifty. You, if you could use this to get from one ship to another, or, or something like that, or for repairs and stuff. It's really really cute. So I'm gonna leave this outside because obviously um, I'm going to f to fly this thing. And uh, in true fashion, it is a long video because it's me, and I can't resist looking at every last little detail on a ship. So we will close the door up, horrendously loud, but oh well, um, go up into the cockpit, jump in the seat, and let's figure out our controls. So straight off the bat, if we look in here, we have quite a good viewing arc actually, we've got a full 180, which is brilliant. And we don't have much downward or upward, um, so we can't really see much going on there, but we can float around like this. And we have, um... whoa! We have rockets. Oh wow, look at these. Um, what are these doing? Why are they flying around around circles? Um, I'm just going to back away from them. Um, we actually have a... The, the engine on the back is doing a pretty good job of getting this thing up to speed. And it moves so well. What does that actually do? I'm, I'm curious what that button does. Arm torpedoes, okay. So we can physically arm the torpedoes to do what our bidding, which is nice. Uh, ah, okay, so it just turns them on and off. But either way, we have torpedoes that fire from the front, and as I said, they fire from those little uh, little pouches there, and uh, those match up with the torpedo shoots in the actual underdeck, which is fantastic. What else do we have here? We have gun turrets, which we can turn on and off. So if we go four, oh. Why did they fire then? That was weird. So we have those. Um, we have our, um, our, our telescope. So we can view our telescope. Which obviously we can zoom in and out with. To to see where enemies are and stuff. Which is cool. And then yeah. it's Whoa. Jesus. Oh my god. This thing turns like ridiculous. I mean. This is just a single press of Q. So if... That, that's literally just one click and E again. It, it takes you like ridiculously far. So if I hold, that's a ridiculous rotation. That is mental. I mean, in terms of speed, this thing gets up to speed quite well. I think it's got too many gyroscopes because it is a bit too nippy. I mean, look at that. It does handle very, very well. And I, I kind of wish things didn't sometimes. I kind of wish there was a bit more float to the controls. But, I mean, it's responsive. I'll give you that. It is very responsive. Um, it, it moves where you want it to move and just does the job. And it's, again, an absolutely fantastic looking ship. And I love things like this. Where it's like a creation from, from the waterways of the world. And recreated or, you know, created in somewhat in space. And it's, it's really, really nicely done. And I love the space sort of the space. Yeah, I, I just love the space themed watercraft. That's what I'm trying to say. It's brilliant. So, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed me looking around first chapter's Stingray Submarine. If you have, give it a like, favorite, and of course, subscribe for more. And go and check it out on the workshop. I'll leave a link to the world as well as the blueprint in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Peace! Peace.